Hello guys. Could you please confirm that whether the screen is visible and I am audible? Hi Om. Hey Om, could you please confirm that uh, whether the screen is visible and I am audible? Okay, thank you Om. Thank you for confirmation. We'll wait one more minute and we'll start the session. Okay, uh, so we'll start. So in last lesson, uh, we have in last lecture, we have learned uh, different debt functions and these different debt functions as well as the debt part. How can we uh, calculate the debt difference uh, to get like if you want to get a month between two debts, then we have checked that how to I will get that part. So, just give me one minute. Oh, it's not coming. Okay, <clears throat> I think uh, hope uh, screen is properly visible now. So we have learned like different debt types, right? Debt time, and then we have also learned how to convert a uh, time uh, stamp, like uh, a time uh, from one offset to another offset. Like for example, if I want to check a time of uh, UTC timing or what's the timing in the UK or USA that can be uh, like we can get the current time uh, using this offset uh, if we are uh, if our server is in different country uh, so we can use this switch offset function and we will get the time we also check like how to add year uh, in a date and also like how to add month or day in a particular uh, date. Uh, even we also covered what is the uh, like what is that a uh, function does and uh, how it works. So even we also covered uh, like today we'll cover this date format function. Uh, so basically, date format function will take three parameters: year, month, and day, and uh, it will uh, give a particular uh, date format. So let let me show you. How it works so this is the example and 
you can see uh, I'm passing three parameters like uh, this is the year, this is the month and this is the day. So it will give me a proper date and if I want to check whether it's a proper date or not, uh, I can check by using is date function. So is date will give me uh, whether that particular date is actually date or not and it will if, if the value is true meaning that if the date is uh, the value is a date then it will give me one otherwise it will return a false value let me show you uh, is date okay is a date invalid argument type is date let me check the other way select is date oh sorry get date so it see uh, th this th get date will give me uh, one uh, sorry two days date and uh, uh, let, let, let me show you this one see this is the date uh, it, this get date give me the current date and time and I have applied is date function on this one and I'm getting one here uh, this uh, date format uh, is not into the date part that's the reason I'm getting if I do a cast to this function then I will get a date let me show you whether it yeah and now on top of this I will use is date function so now it will give me the first query will give me the oh what why it's giving the error is it okay something went wrong let me exhibit this first okay is date then at the end it will work now oh, argument date type date is invalid for argument one of is date function i think it, it it is not working for this case but is date function is used to get a date uh, like it will show whether that particular column has a date or not if it returns a value one meaning that it is a date uh, and if it returns uh, for let me show you other Wow, one more example is it and then I will pass one two three okay I will get an error one two three and let me execute yeah I will get a zero okay so zero meaning that this is not a date so it is possible uh, in uh, real time uh, that there are few columns whose data type is not date and if you try to convert you will get a, an error uh, if you like if there is an a string okay uh, see this is an a string uh, to to, okay this is a string uh, or if there is any uh, field which has a data type string and it it contains both uh, string as well as date format and if you want to buy for get uh, that time uh, you will get an error let me show you i will create a table create table test underscore date <coughs> create date here deliberately i am keeping my data type as var care And I will insert the values into this table. So the syntax is insert into table name, then values. Here, what I will do, I will insert A. It will take, though the column A name is create date, but still I am inserting uh, the data type of this field is varchar. So I am inserting a var. Uh, character here I, and the next part what I will do I will insert um, actual date 2012 02 02 
okay now to get the values i will write a select statement select star from then table name so you know that this function has actual date as well as uh, invalid date this is the invalid date and this is a proper date if i try to convert uh, this uh, actually this is not a date okay this is a string though though it's a it is a date but actual we are storing as a string value if i try to convert it let me cast this value cast cast function is used to convert uh, a data type from one uh, one format to another format okay so here you know that this the credit field has a data type as varchar what i will do i will convert here as date and let me execute this query i will get an error let's see yeah conversion field when converting date and date and or time from character string why it is not allowing me to convert it the reason is there is one field okay uh, there is one field uh, let me let me show you first that so this the first field okay the value the first record itself is a string and if i want to if i try to convert it to the date it will won't allow me so what i will do i will check like in that case what we can check we can check whether uh, how many records are there uh, which are uh, date and how many records which are uh, string okay so using is date function we can check so you know that if we apply is date function is date on this particular field then let me remove this part and we'll put this created here let me execute this one first yeah see for this one it's coming zero okay and for this record it's coming so this value is easily converted into the dead part according to this is dead function but this is not converting now what i want i want to convert only those values those can be easily converted so how can i do i can use where clause and then i will use equals to 1 so that i will i will convert all such records whose is that will give me one as a value okay the output of is that should be 1 now you can see instead of is that i can directly cast this value cast as date and see i uh, like i have just excluded that uh, particular record okay if i want to convert all records then i can use try cast try underscore cast and i will execute now so what does this try cast does basically it will try to convert and if it is not getting converted into a particular data type then it will give you a null values instead of error earlier i was getting an error right so let me show you one more time and then we will uh, go for further instead of the try i will execute only uh, instead of the try cast i will only fire a query with try so I'm getting error here, right? But if I use this try cast function, it won't give me an error. See, for this one, it is giving null values. So like if you if you are trying to convert values, then uh, that time, uh, if, if you are getting a particular error, then go with the try cast uh, to, to avoid the error or even though you can use like if you want to identify uh, such records uh, those are not convertible into a particular uh, format then you can use this function and apply is null function so you will get all such records otherwise uh, in this case i i i can uh, say that i this value is not uh, like this create this a is not uh, 
eligible as a date, right? So how can I get such a records? Like just uh, use this function in where clause and then do is null. So to get null records, uh, you use we use is null function. So let me execute this one. See, I'm getting only such records. Those are not convertible to date. So this is very important while you are doing analysis. You have a data type. You have a date uh, in a particular field and it's a data type is not actual data date or time. If it is other than date and time and if you are try to convert into a date, then in that case you will get error. So you can easily identify using these functions. Uh, uh, you can use this function to identify those records which are not uh, converted into a particular format. So we have learned date formats. Basically date format is used to convert uh, a particular uh, strings or uh, in, uh, dates into a particular uh, particular integer numbers into a, a date formats. Uh, now let me show you date name function. Uh, so this date name function is basically this date name function basically uh, gives a part of the date and it 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 gives in a particular uh, like string for example let's say uh, you have let let me go to a database adventure work database then table no See, there is a modified date. Okay, now what I want, I want this like month name from this modified date. Okay, how can I achieve? I can achieve the same using um, mod uh, like date date name function. So date name, then pass this modified date. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, pass a interval. I want a month name, right? So I will do month. I will pass month as interval, then modify date as a date. So the syntax is okay. The syntax is interval and date. <coughs> Sorry, the uh, date. So you can see here date name, interval, and date. So these are the different different intervals. You can use these uh, intervals to get uh, a particular name uh, for example if you want the year if you want a quarter or month then you can use different different functions let me show you say i'm getting april 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 right if i want a day i can use weekday if i want a weekday i can use weekday so you'll get like on that particular day on 30th april 2008 it was Wednesday. Okay, so you will get this part. So date name is basically used to get a part from a uh, from a date. So this is the use of the date name function. Let me go to date part function again. This date part function will also use to get a part of a date, a specific part of a date, but it will give. Uh, an integer number okay let let me show you see uh, this is the date now i am taking a day a year i want year what is the year okay so i will execute this query i will get this year now i want to apply the same click i will use this table now you can see here higher date okay i want all employees whose higher year is 2018 uh, sorry 8 and 9 so how can i achieve uh, there are two ways you can use a higher date between first uh, jan 2018 and a higher date is uh, last day of that is 31st uh, april uh, sorry 31st december 2009 but there is another way like we can achieve 
the same thing mm, by using dead part okay so you can use here dead part or oh, sorry x star then you can use a higher date instead of this date and let's exhibit this query let me show you only higher date and date and then um, job title only i am interested into only this three field job title higher date and as higher year see i am like if you see here i have just extracted the air part from this particular higher date now what i want i want only all records those those records or those employees who has been hired in a particular uh, year let me take a business in detail so now you can use this function so you know that internally this will convert this higher date into a particular year so what i will do i will use in clause because i'm passing two values so if you are passing more than two values use in function 2008 and then just execute this function see if i want to do like order by i want all the records who are uh like first i want 2018 records and then 19 but if you see here i am getting few records of 2009 uh, 2009 and few of 2008 so to get the records in sorted manner just pass this field name in order by and then ascending by default it's ascending so first i will get all the records or all the uh, employees who has been hired in 2008 and then 2009 so this date part is basically is used to get a date uh, sorry a particular part or a specific part from a particular date so if i want month then i can use month uh, so there is no month such month right I will pass 04 and 05 and now I will get all the employees who has been hired in like in month of April and May in, in all year because I haven't given any particular filter on year but still here I am using year so you may wonder why the year is uh, month part is not showing so we can use month part here Oh, it's showing an error okay two times month ah let me let me show you so uh, mbgs column name higher year why this uh, we got this error because there are two columns with same name and this order by will like sql will be confused which like according to which column should i uh, sort according to this column or this column so to avoid that conflict it will like sql server will be in the conflict okay so to avoid that conflict we can we will change the name of this particular column here month now see we can execute this query so i'm getting all the higher months that is 505 and 04 okay so if you want to take a, there are a, a, like there are other function also if you want to take a only day okay this is the one way you can even from here also you can add, take a day part okay so you can use day here so that you will get all the days 
see this is the day okay you can see here this is the actual date okay so we are getting higher instead of the higher month let me put here day so on this day in this month and this particular year this business entity ID whose business entity ID is 10 and this employee has been hired so you can use that part and then a particular interval or there is another way you can use that part also let me show you just pass a day and then hire it as higher day H -I -R -E. see you are getting the same output okay so here like instead of using date part function you can use day, day function as well as instead of the uh, date part month you can use month uh, you can use year also or if there is any timestamp you can use that particular so same here like you can use month year we have just learned is date function so this is date function checks an expression and returns one if that uh, date is valid date and if if date is not valid okay it will return zero so that's the purpose of this date now i have used a cast function okay so basically why cast we use if you want to convert a data type of a particular field uh, from uh, from like for example i have a data type integer and if i want to convert uh, the fields data type into car i can use so to convert to convert a fields data type from one to another we use a cast function so the syntax is cast then input and you can pass uh, data type uh, let me show you one example select then cast this one two three is actually it's not an integer number okay you can see we will write integer number as one two three okay but if you write the same number in single inverted comma then it will be treated as a string so i want to convert into integer so this is the syntax cast then the field name or uh, data type uh, sorry field name or the value and as uh, is a keyword again and then final data type in which data type you want to convert you can pass that data type name so uh, basically uh, like for example uh, let let me show you one example like star prom employee now you can see this what i want i want this national number and this job title in uh, like it should be concatenated concatenated okay i want this national number like this national number first then dash and then i want a job title name like this and then or you can consider the business uh, let, let me check with the we will take, take another example another table person dot person see what i want i want to concat this business entity id then name middle name and last name so i want this stuff like this like can j and then last name okay i i want this name as like this so let me try uh, like to use a concatenation to concat uh, to concat the values we use a concat function let me use concat then the first value that is the business entity ID, the first field name then we want the first name so we'll pass first name and then we want middle name and then last name 
let me execute this i will get an error oh wait i'm not getting an error okay or concat internally uh, what it does it, it internally uh, convert uh, the data type okay implicitly it convert uh, implicitly it, it will convert the uh, data type of a particular field okay let let me use a plus sign instead of this one and let me execute now i'll get an error definitely yeah conversion failed now but still what i want i want to achieve i want uh, still i want this output okay still i want this output with plus sign so can i achieve like here conversion failed okay here you have to convert this value this business entity ID is an integer value you can see here let me show you see this is an integer data type okay we'll go on the table we'll check the data type also either it's a big integer or integer so person dot person and go to business entity ID. See, the data type is integer. Okay, I can't convert it. Okay, while doing concatenation, we can do concatenation using plus sign if there is a string. So what I will do, I will convert this business entity ID into integer. So I will use cast function. Then here I will convert this as what is the data type in where care right i will convert into n where car 10 and let me execute now this now it will work see it's working right but i am interested like i want dash also okay how can i achieve that you can use this click plus sign is used to Concat, concat to strings. See now I can concat. Why I'm getting a null? Because if you perform a null, if you perform any operation with null operator, you will get a null. Let let me show you that part also. As you know that if there is any like if there is a anywhere null in the field you will get a null see in this example here the middle name is null okay so whenever you perform any operation with null it will give you null result so this is the cast there is one more function is called a convert so convert is also used to convert a value uh, data type of a particular field from a field to b field uh, sorry a from a like from a particular data type to another data type so but there is a difference in a cast and convert so in cast you cannot specify the format okay for example we have a, like i think we have test data type right we have this one right Let me delete that particular value, delete from. Where? Let me execute now. See, I can convert it into a, like if I want to convert this particular date into a different format i can't convert okay so by using a convert function you can convert this date 
into other format also let let me show you convert now i want to convert into into a date or like var car 20 and i want to convert into a the different format i will specify triple one let me insert this one oh, there is no comma i missed the comma um, okay oh two times from i wrote so let me convert into one more other another format it's not converting okay change the data type it's not working let me take another example from the person table itself okay Use this modified date. But even you can try this one first. Okay, you can see it is converted, right? dot 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 is there now let me give you another example oh, with this one to one is also zero one what is the by default behavior see it is converting right so convert function in case of cast if i want to convert this um, date into particular format i can't do that but using convert function i can achieve uh, the same i can specify the format also here so this is the use of the convert function. So by using convert and cast function, you can convert a data type of a particular field or uh, value into another data type. And there is a difference in convert and cast is that when you convert a value, you can specify an optional parameter or format. Let me show you this example. And like there are, this is the chart. Okay. There are like, if you, uh, I mean, in India, we uh, we use uh, date format as day, month, and year, right? But if you go to UK or other countries, then they will be using a year, month, and day. Exactly opposite how we use. So, like these are the different different. This is the exact date. Uh, current timestamp function will give the current date and time then we are converting this into in this format okay so here i will get a uh, april 21 and then year and the date am or pm okay so these are the different different options you can try these uh, different different options you can play around with this one now there is one more function str and uh, parse and try parse okay the str function is used to convert a string to number or uh, number to string for example if i have a string select the str one as integer so you can convert this number into integer see this is currently this is an integer number now i want sorry this is an string number i want to convert into integer i can convert oh it's not working okay so it it will convert okay so this is an integer number if i want to convert an integer number into string i can use a str function same if you if i want to convert a string to integer then i can use a parse function let me show you so it will convert i mean this parse function will 
convert the string into either integer or uh, date format so you can see it is converting into integer and again if i have a particular date let me show you and if i have specified date then it will convert into a date so it is converting right so but if i pass this one two three as a date it won't convert it will throw an error see you can see here it is working right this is working because this particular string is convertible into date format but what about this one one two three it won't you will get an error so again there is one more function available in sql server 2012 and above that is try parse try underscore parse what it will does it will try to convert this uh, particular string into a date if it is convertible it will give that particular date otherwise it will give null let's see this is not convertible into date format hence i am getting null let me execute this one with try parse so yes it is convertible so you can see the difference okay you can pass the same thing in to in one select statement so the first statement okay there is there is no parse or no underscore op that is no output see you are getting null and then here this particular string is convertible into a date so i am getting string so parse is basically used to convert a string from sorry uh, data type from string to integer or date and time and date okay i will show you few uh, information so basically if you if you are working uh, in an environment and if you want to identify like what is my database name okay so how can we get that or what is my host name or what is like on which version i'm working so or what is the host name of a particular in uh, server so to get that there are few inbuilt function in sql server these are the different different functions i will show you and i will explain the purpose of each and every function For example, if you are loading a data from a particular database and if you want to pass the database in a select statement, okay, if you want to get the data database name of a particular uh, like current database, then you can use this DB name. Let me like you can use a select and DB name. This is this will give you the name of the current database. See you are in master database you can check from here also and this is the output I, if i switch from master database to adventure works i will get adventure works so when it is important if you are for example if you are loading data from a particular database for example you are loading data from adventure works to this sql tutorial and if you want to like uh, pass the database name uh, into a particular uh, table to know that what is the source for that particular data you can use this dbnm function so while inserting you can use this dbnm function so that you can easily identify hey, yes this data is coming from the this database and you can identify the source also uh, then this current timestamp will give you the current time and date date and time there is one more function called the server property okay if you pass the if you pass few particular parameters to this server property field or function you will get a server name let let me show you okay so i'm passing server name so that i will get a server name oh why it's sitting there See, this is my server name so basically server name 
this is my server name you can see this is the server name okay it will return null if the instance is default meaning that i have two instances let me show you i mean see this is my default instance and this is my name instance this 01 and 02 so if it is a default instance then in that case it will return null and i want to check the addition of this version so how can i check let's execute addition so this is the developer edition and it's 64 bit software so i will i will explain there is one more property uh, product version so basically it will give the version so each and every sql server has a version okay if you have applied certain patches then it will be updated or it will give the the, the first part is called the just give me one minute Just give me one minute. okay so uh, this this particular uh, product version is used to get the what is the version okay the first part this is called a major version and the latter part is called a, after the decimal point right it is called a minor version than the product level so this is the rtm rtm meaning that this is a server which is a basic server okay there is no patches applied okay if if the if you applied certain patches then it will uh, show you like sp1 uh, that is the service pack one service pack two what is the service pack one and service pack two so service service pack one and service pack two are the uh, uh, Basically, these are the update, okay? So, there could be few bugs in the uh, first version and uh, that is the default version and they have might uh, fix that bugs or uh, apart from that, if they have released certain new features, these, these will be bundled in the service packs. Okay, you, you know that like nowadays, everyone is using mobile and will get sometimes the update, right? Update for the mobile. So same same thing happens okay the initial is the 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 when you purchase a phone it will be rtm and if you update the phone for a particular uh, version then it is it is called as the service pack in uh, sql server okay Okay, we'll stop. Today we'll stop here. Tomorrow we will cover aggregation, uh, aggregate functions, what are and what is their use, and then we will start uh, SQL Server uh, joins, basically like SQL joins. What are what are the types of joins and how we use the joins in real life.